Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest batch of characters in WWE Champions, and folks, they're totally tubular. We're doing a retro rewind month. Uh, modern superstars dressed up in a legend's ilk. I'm uh, legitimately super excited for this. I think it's very creative. Um, I know a lot of people... We're worried about, you know, legend era females and whatnot. Um, when you do a crossover like Ghostbusters, like Rocky, like Masters of the Universe, and then you lose the licensing, you lose the ability to promote and sell those characters for the most part. So to me, I feel like this is a really safe way to introduce um, legend era females. We do have a female chase for the month. There will be a preview for her later, uh, but just wanted to kind of Give my thoughts really quick about this concept. Um, is it a bit of a cop-out? Maybe a little bit, but it's also um, like the devs and the art team get a chance to shine creatively. Um, like Kevin Owens as Danny Zuko. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to see what the team comes up with this month. I think this is their chance to shine um, and I want to see them have some fun with the character design. So I'm looking forward to that. Our freebie for the month, a Legends era showboat male. It has been like a year and a half since we had a male showboat. Uh, June 2022 was when we had Mutant Priest. So lo and behold, folks, your male freebie showboat. It's Kevin Owens' greatest hits. Um, he is an aggressive Legends era showboat. Trainer ability at 26k, black moves start with two more move points, and blue gems do 40% more damage. So I'm assuming that's going to be a trainer for our chase character. Stay tuned. Uh, Link's legend era gems do 10% more damage and just the one standard set of gear. The other thing with doing this kind of a style, they can come up with so many random gears that mean absolutely nothing and just give them random boosts whenever they want. Um going to be very fun. Please give KO a plaid skirt and call him Roddy Rowdy Piper. Anyways, um, this is the free to play approved edition of the preview. So yeah, the damage output might not be all that impressive, but more importantly, it uses people that the majority of players have. So we get a realistic look into what these characters can do at higher levels. We're going to start with a build at two star. The Bullfrog Splash 10 MP finisher deal 387,210 damage, make 30 random gems into red gems, and pin the opponent. Uh, Sharpshooter 7 MP submission generate 30 random submission gems and do 285,865 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into snowfall yellow gems. And the pop-up power bomb 7 MP red move deal 169,714 damage and choose seven gems to make into yellow gems. So this is likely what I would run at two star. I'm not entirely sure how it scales. I'm assuming at two star, you're not picking seven yellows. You're probably picking two and it's probably a two turn sub base, which is not enough to drain a three star bronze. That's not the point. Uh, the point is how does it scale at six star? Honorage for this, Butch for red MP, uh, Zombie AJ for three more sub turns. We're doing a super sub focus. Tech Drew, is he free to play? Has he been out long enough where long-term players have acquired him? I think so. I think so. I think I'm comfortable using Tech Drew here. 50% um, more damage to the submission and one turn. Santa Hogan, whatever your Santa Hogan is at, just for some gem damage. Uh, for the belts, no plates. We have a 30% gem damage, which is very obtainable in talent ups and random prize walls and whatnot. Two sets of Fury 2s, which you can get from participating in weekend events. And let's go against... Uh, I don't want to go against the showboat because this is honestly going to take forever. Um, I also don't want to do class advantage. 
much health do you have? That's not much better, is it? And I can't beat up on Biggie because Donjay will yell at me. This is going great. <sighs> Trying to save time here, folks. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Whatever. We're just gonna go against AJ. My man looks ridiculous. Oh my god. Slow that down just real quick. He's got the jorts. He's got the knee pads. He's got the, the white wife beater with the neon pink. This is amazing. I am so stoked for the character designs this month. Oh my god. I am so, so, so stoked. There's so many music-themed characters you could do with the modern roster. I'm just, I'm just really excited. This is fun to me. Again, is it a cop-out? Yeah, probably a little bit. But just really, really, really curious to see what they do. Um, so we're doing 428,000 damage for seven turns. These are going to turn into snowfall gems, which when we break them, are going to turn into yellow gems. Uh, but... This build recycles itself without the snowfalls, so I'm kind of comfortable using extra turns. I don't feel like I'm relying on these at all to recycle. Uh, Bullfrog, Splash. These are all your red gems. About two mil. But again, this, the sub is the focus here. Go ahead and make a five match, swipe into a three match if we need it, which we do. Hit this up again. And I feel like the game is really loud, so I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Sorry. Sorry. And basically just recycle between the choose move and the finisher. And the sub is just there to drain the MP and the health. Now, if you have Logan, use Logan, right? But that's not exactly free to play. Is Tech Drew considered free to play? He hasn't necessarily been given out. But like I said, he's... Feel like he's been around long enough? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. And if you don't consider Tech Drew free to play, my apologies for using him in the build. Uh, not a ton of submission damage coaches that are readily available. Uh, me personally, I use Dorothy's account as um, the measuring stick, and she has all the sub coaches except for Drew. So don't tell her I use Drew. Uh, that is the sub build. Let's go ahead and see what we would run at three star. So next build, we're going to bring in the three-star move, which is the stunner. Seven MP red move. Deal 146,970 damage and make the bottom five rows into reinforced gems. And it's a combo move. Then deal 146,970 damage and increase your red gem damage by 50% for one turn. Again, I don't know what this is like at three star bronze. I'm assuming you're not going to get five rows. Um, we're going to run this with the finisher and the pop-up power bomb. Choose seven gems to make into yellow gems. Put out your reinforce. Make random red gems. So a bunch of red reinforce gems. We are going red gem damage focus. Uh, because once again, the reinforced gem Honorage isn't exactly free to play. Could use Hall of Fame Yoko if you have him. Stay tuned for the run it back. I'll use him in a build. Uh, but for now, Butch for red MP, Davy Boy the Powerhouse at 21k, plus two red MP and 45% more damage to the red gems. Tech Stacy for a flat 12,000 to the reds. And then of course, Santa Hogan, one in doubt, throw him on. Belt is still intact nothing has changed no plates again stay tuned for the run it back there is a certain plate for a certain troll that they have been trying to find a home for and i i think i may have found the character for the bulldogs bracers plate but you have to watch the run it back i am not giving that away for free uh let's see what this three star build skills up to All 
All right, so pop up, power bomb. Let's do that. Oh, we cascaded. Boo, rip, boo, hiss. Um, well, I'll just swipe. Um, so it is a combo move that increases our red jam damage. Base is 53,000. Showboat's not traditionally a gem damage class. Um, so now they're doing 80k. Reinforced gems. He has boost for the month that he didn't go over, doesn't he? Wow, yeah, okay. So plus 2 MP... 25% more all color gem damage and 25% more reinforced gem. This is easily replicated with a better strap, I think. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, but that is doing 85k. Make a bunch of random red gems. Hopefully they all hit reinforce and we just get cascades on cascades on cascades. Uh, I'll take five mil. We'll pretend that's turn one. Uh, but that is five ish mil or so. I didn't look to see how much MP I actually had because I'm really good at this game. Let's do that. Let's do that. I was going to say, if this cascades, I'm going to be so mad. Yeah, and then that little combo, 50% red. That's going to pair really nice with the Bulldog Spracers. I think that's going to be um, a winning moveset for a lot of people. That was about 6 mil. So I'll take that for free to play any day. Any day. And just basic stuff. Everybody has Powerhouse Davy Boy. Everybody has Tech Stacy. Everyone has Butch. Everyone has Santa. Very, very doable, and of course the sky is the limit when we do videos like this because I'm showing you the baseline. So if you have better stuff, please use better stuff because this is only going to get stronger. Uh, let's go ahead and swap in some black moves and see what we can do with those. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at 4 star and a really fun defensive build, I think. Uh, low charge... Uh, recycles for the most part, good damage, both, both move and gem. Uh, don't call it a comeback. Black move, 6 MP, so while you are pinned, kick out and deal 803,909 damage and make 30 random gems into X breaks. So it's big move damage, you make a bunch of gems, and then you don't have to swipe to kick out so you don't accidentally go ahead and break those. It's a kick out move for you. Big fan of that. Cannonball, 6 MP. This is the four star move. Um, also a black move deal, 199,014 damage plus 85,755 bonus damage for every X break gem. Uh, the third move, use whatever you fancy. Um, I'm just bringing in the pop-up power bomb if I need something to break the X breaks. It's just there. In you could use the sub, but then you're, they're not really going to pin you, are they? It's it's going to be kind of lackluster. Um, maybe you bring this in with the MP. I don't know. There's Use the two black moves and then whatever third move you want. I'm going to use the choose. Honorage for this. Do not say... Goldie doesn't love the free-to-plays because I just put 53 mil coin into Honky Tonk Man so he would be at max trainer ability for this. I have been putting it off for a very long time and I've finally done it. So 50% X-Break gem damage from Striker HTM. You are welcome. Um, also using Woods for Black MP. Another is he considered free-to-play. Again, not a ton of options at coach for this. Uh, zombie Kane? Zombie Kane? Question mark? He's been around for a really long time. Uh, so we have two question marks here in Tech Drew and Zombie Kane. Again, if you're offended by the use of either, I apologize. I ain't trying to upset people. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so 25% more damage to X breaks and a one more X break. And then, of course, one in doubt, Santa Hogan. Uh, we are getting 150k per X break gem, and there's 31 of them, so that's going to be nice. Uh, for the belt, I did make it a hybrid belt. 
because it is move and gem damage based, you're doing big move damage on the kick out and then you're blowing up the board. Um, I brought in just a regular set of takedowns. So 15% as opposed to 40. I know 200 percenters are really hard to come by at takedown two. So I did a regular takedown 200%. Uh, you could do a full takedown belt if you'd like. You could stick with Fury. Um, and then no plates... No drip plate on this build. Probably won't even run it back with a drip plate. Um, I, I, I think I'll use the Bianca's braid instead. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So we have a bit of a hybrid belt here, but let's see what this move damage will get up to. All right, so this move is ready to go. Please don't use it right now. We are just deliberately going to swipe a bunch. So they pin us. Bam. We did it. We got pinned. All right. Now that this is shining and flashing and blinking and shaking, uh, we know it's ready. Uh, so we have we have it up to 2.38 million damage. We're going to kick out. We're going to deal a good chunk of damage. We're going to make a bunch of X breaks. Oh, I'm just curious. Okay, so the gems themselves. 14. Well, the, the health didn't, didn't drain off of that right away. Uh, 590k damage plus 150k for every X break. Let's just slow that down so we can take a look. 4.6 mil. It it took off the um the the two whatever from the kick. The way that the reversals work in terms of how it displays the damage is a little confusing and hard to explain. Uh, but 4.6 from the X break. So then I'm gonna use the choose just to try to pick off as many as possible. Yellow is our primary color, so let's go ahead and cover up some of our non-primary color. Get as much damage as possible. Keep the black gems on the board. Keep the red gems on the board, she says. I should cover this one up. It'd be like that. There we go. And the board goes boom. Um, you are more than welcome to use plates like uh, Viper Strike, any of the rocky plates that give you black and red gems as an ultimate, uh, just to get a little more out there on the board to help ensure the recycling. Oh no, oh no, we have been pinned. Darn, what a shame. What an absolute shame. The alternative is... You can just swipe. Totally up to you. See what the board looks like and assess it that way. But um, that's kind of fun. I think that's going to be a really fun defensive build for people. And again, you can tailor that. You can go all gem damage. You can go all move damage. If you have um, a braid plate and a veer plate, the run it back might be of interest to you. Um, but more importantly, no drip plate. Let's go ahead and see what the five star build is. All right, next build we're going to take a look at is available at five star and very situational, but I found a situation in which we can use it. Uh, triple yellow, so the finisher making random red, the sharpshooter submission, and then the five star move, which is the super kick, six MP, deals 774,517 damage and steal up to 4 MP from each of your opponent's yellow moves. Would you use this over Clubber Lang? Probably not, but again, situational. Maybe you need to use a Showboat. Maybe you need to use a Kevin Owens. It's an option. Let's see what we can make of this option. Uh, Kofi for yellow MP. Showboat Big E for yellow move damage. Again, free to play approved. Use Trick Oska if you have Trick Oska. Uh, Kate Quick for 40% more to the finisher. And then when in doubt, Santa Hogan. I've actually swapped over to a regular takedown belt here. 200% yellow. Two sets of takedown one. So we're getting just short of 250% yellow move damage from the belt. And we found an opponent with double yellow moves. So let's see how this looks. 2.8 mil. Super kick party. 
And I'm gonna just use the sub now because there's no MP. To you could just, you know, super kick over and over, but I'm gonna keep that MP steal in reserve in case he gets a yellow match here. Oh, I am so smart. And I know it, which is the problem. Super kick party! You could honestly just go between the MP steal and the sub if they keep um, getting yellow matches too, so. Casual kick for three mil-ish. A lot of snowfalls out there. Let's go ahead and hit the finisher. Finisher doing 1.6. Pretty decent. 2.8 overall. Got some of the snowfalls to break and actually give us some yellow MP. So that's how that would look. Triple yellow, pretty straightforward. Use against opponents with yellow moves if you aren't able to use clubber. One more build I want to take a look at. Let's see what he has at six star. Last build we are going to take a look at is triple red. So the choose seven to make yellow, the bottom five rows and to reinforce. And then the Argentine Neckbreaker, 7 MP, deal 190,687 damage, and choose a 6x1 area to make into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into Red Gems when broken by you. Um, so maybe a little safer than the finisher, you get a controlled area of Red Gems uh, using the same loadout as the 3-star build. Butch for Red MP... Davy Boy for two red MP and 45% to the red gems. Tech Stacy for the flat 12k. And then Santa Hogan, if you have Hall of Fame Yoko, use Hall of Fame Yoko. Back to the Fury 2 build. So about 156% to the red gems from this. And should be a fairly straightforward. Is it going to be turn one? I have no idea. Let's see. So we're going to put out our reinforced gems, 80k there, and he does have the little boost for the month, 85. Choose a 6x1 to make into Snowfall. I will go over here so we can clip that red gem when we break everything, and then use the pop-up power bomb. I mean, you, you don't, I don't think anything hurts when you make a, a wild card. I was going to say just make a four match and call it a day, but it's his primary color. You might as well place it. Hey, that sounds turn one to me. 6.7 mil. With the most basic of basic things. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That's really nice. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Kevin Owens' greatest hits. Again, this is a retro rewind month. Totally tubular. Modern era superstars in legend era attire. Um, an aggressive showboat. Trainer ability at 26k. Black moves start with two more move points. Blue gems do 40% more damage. So assuming that is a trainer for our chase character... Uh, Link's 10% more damage from Legends Era, just the one set of gear. I like him. I think it has been very long overdue that we get a, a freebie male showboat. I know they've come out with a ton of really strong male showboats on weekend events. But in terms of an MLC freebie, it has been a very long time. June 2022 was the last one in Mutant Priest. And I think this Kevin Owens has a lot to offer free-to-play players. Gem damage builds, move damage builds, subs, reversals. If you have some fancy plates, there's options for that as well. But as we, we've we seen, he can fit, hit pretty hard with just basic stuff. So please stay tuned for the Run It Back. I'll test out some of that more high-end stuff. Let me know what you think of this Kevin Owens in the comments of this video. Any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up in the comment section or in my Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.